Uh, welcome guys uh, to Techo Practice once again. Um, I have a very short tutorial to give, it's just more of a fix. Um, I have this uh, software I've been uh, writing for quite some time and uh, just quite re recently I noticed, uh, as you can see, I am using an iPhone file uh, property here for uploading files from the uh, front end. But I noticed when I went uh, and took a look at the Nougat package that supports the iPhone file, it has this interesting triangle warning here. And uh, when I took a closer look, I realized that um, this package is actually deprecated. And even looking through if I could upgrade it, there is nothing there. So it got me wondering to uh, of a way to fix this. Um, now. Ideally, I went online, of course, as you guys might uh, imagine, and yeah, it was for sure. It was listed as uh, packages, uh, one of the packages that will be uh, deprecated or that has been deprecated. And I think somewhere around here, we can see a full list of packages that are lined up for deprecation. And if we search for uh, that uh, particular file, we'll see that it's also listed here. So you see, it's just quite similar to this very package. This is the Microsoft ASP.NET Core.HTTP features, and it is sure enough listed for deprecation. So how do we fix this, right? Uh, it took me a minute to figure out how to fix this, but uh, sure enough, I got around to it. So the first thing we want to do is, uh, as you guessed it, we want to get rid of this guy this package right here. And uh, what makes it tricky again is when you get rid of the package, uh, we just get rid of this using line right here. The Visual Studio does not necessarily give you the right information on how to fix this. As you can see, see it's still asking you to install the same package we just deinstalled or uninstalled, right? So how do we get around to this? Um, yeah, after searching online, uh, doing a uh, looking uh, for a solution, I was able to find a way to fix this. Uh, so I'm hoping this video will help you as well. So how do we fix this? Uh, the first thing we want to do is, uh, first and foremost, we want to go into the uh, the project, uh, what, what do you call this, an application setting or something. Uh, that is when you double click on the, on the um, project itself, so I'm just going to extend my screen a little bit here so you can see. Uh, let me see, can I do that? Uh, yes, I'm just going to make it a little bit more smaller. So if you double click on, your, on the name of your project, you should sure enough get this screen up in front of you. And uh, this is basically where you see the references to your package, references to uh, different project files. And what you want to do is you want to have this line of code in there uh, and we're going to do that so i'm just going to paste copy and paste that and basically what is happening here is that the uh the iphone file has now been integrated as part of the the .NET core or asp.net core framework so it is part of the package and when you add this uh this line of code here that says framework reference include it will go ahead and pick up those packages that, uh, oh, sorry, those, uh, 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 um, how would I put it? Th those interfaces and, and references to DLL classes that you are missing that has to do uh, with uh, the Nougat package we just in uninstalled. So if we come down here now and we hover our mouse, we will see that, oh, just a minute, we still have to save this. So I'm just gonna control S and save this. So when we come down here now and hover our mouse, let's see if it's gonna pick it up. Yes, sure enough, you see, it is telling us that we can now use this directly without having to uh, install it as a Nougat package. So I hope this helps you, I hope this helps someone. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to Techo Practice if this is your first time here. I will be bringing more of this kind of tutorials and this kind of fixes to your uh, to you guys and uh, happy coding. Have a good day.